Hello everyone. In this video we will discuss how to create and prepare an ER diagram for crime reporting system. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates. The objective of the project entitled Crime Reporting System is to provide an avenue for the residents and police to report and respond to crimes reported through this platform. The project was designed and developed in PHP, MySQL and Bootstrap. For more information about the project, you may visit the database design and screen layout of Crime Reporting System. Just search for Crime Reporting Database Design and Crime Reporting User Interface. The first step in the development of the Crime Reporting System is to prepare the ER diagram that will serve as the basis later on in the creation of the actual database. We will create and explain the process of making the Entity Relationship Diagram of Crime Reporting System. We will follow the three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. 1. Identify all the entities. 2. Identify the relationship between entities and 3. Add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. Identify all entities. Entity is represented by the rectangle shape. The entity will be our database table of crime reporting system later on. In the crime reporting system we have the following entities 1.user 2.resident 3.resident credential 4.crime information 5.crime category 6.police information 7.response information. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. 1.user encodes information of residents, 1 to many relationship. 2.a resident uploads or submits their resident credentials, 1 to many relationship. 3.a resident reports a crime through the online and mobile application of the project, 1 to many relationship. 4.user encodes information of police officer, 1 to many relationship. 5.the police officer responds to the crimes reported by the residents, 1 to many relationship. 6.the crime belongs to a specific crime category, 1 to 1 relationship. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. User entity has the following attributes. 1. User ID dash primary key represented with underline 2. Full name 3. Address 4. Contact 5. Username 6. Password. Resident entity has the following attributes. 1. Resident ID dash primary key represented with underline 2. Resident name 3. Resident contact 4. Resident address 5. Image 6. Username 7. Password 8. Encoded by, foreign key. Resident credential entity has the following attributes. 1. Credential ID dash primary key represented with underline 2. Resident ID dash foreign key 3. Credential info 4. Crime information entity has the following attributes. 5. Crime ID dash primary key represented with underline 6. Crime description 7. Resident ID dash foreign key 8. Date reported 9. Time reported 10. Location 11. Image capture 12. Status. Crime category entity has the following attributes. 1. Crime category ID dash primary key represented with underline 2. Description. Police information entity has the following attributes. 1. Police ID dash primary key represented with underline 2. Name 3. Mobile number 4. Address 5. Email 6. Username 7. Password 8. Encoded by, foreign key. Response information entity has the following attributes. 1. Response info ID dash primary key represented with underline 2. Crime ID dash foreign key 3. Status 4. Date 5. Time 6. Police officer ID dash foreign key. Entity relationship diagrams illustrate the relationships between entities in a database. This can be helpful in understanding how the data is organized and how it can be accessed. Additionally, ER diagrams can help in designing and creating a database. Finally, ER diagrams can be used for data analysis and reporting. Entity, a thing or concept that is represented in a database by a row in a table. Entity relationship, the association between entities in a database. ER diagram, a type of entity relationship diagram that shows the relationships between tables and columns in a database. The ER diagram designed for crime reporting system will be a great help and source of information in the next stage of the project which will be the actual database design. 
Thank you for watching. For more free capstone projects ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.